What's up guys, welcome back to Old Class Gaming. Today I'm here with the much of an anticipated uh, Pendulum ABC deck profile. Uh, I've been working on this deck for a while, you know, probably the past month or so. I've been theorying this deck, working on the combos, figuring out the ratios, and I'm finally happy to say I think I have a pretty broken deck with some pretty busted combos that I'll showcase later on. Uh, before I, I hop into the deck, the, the deck profile, I want to say um, the sleeves are you, you, are you guys seeing in the video as well as this playmat are all from Imperium Duelist. If you guys want to grab some for yourself, you can go to uh, imperiumduels.com and use code GOLDCLASS10 for 10% off your entire order. Once again, that's, called, that's code GOLDCLASS10 for 10% off your entire order on Imperium Duelist. So now, without further ado, let's hop right into this deck profile. I start off with 3 Assault Core, 3 B Buster Drake, and 3 C Crush Wyvern. Uh, you, you're just maxing out on all, on all your pieces because this is an ABC deck. Like you got to be maxing out on absolutely everything. Next up, you have two heavy mech support armor because this card's absolutely insane when, when, when you're playing a deck with you know, multiple normal summons. Actually, actually in, in you know in your primary combo, you actually normal summon this card twice. It's really insane. And then you have three Galaxy Soldiers in there because um. Galaxy Soldier isn't, isn't isn't part of your combo, but it's just such a good extender. Like if you aren't if you aren't pulling off your primary combo, you you, you can still absolutely pull off some some Galaxy Soldier combos. It's just a standard when, when you're playing your uh, Infinity builds. Next up, we we have we have some Speedroid cards. We have Speedroid Terror Top, Tacatonborg, and then three Speedroid Passing Glider. So in a Pendulum build, you're, you're, you you you. Passing Glider is so good. It's a level five machine monster, so it's great for overlying into Infinity. Uh, it, it's a scale three, which is which, 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 which is good for, for pen summoning with Dark Worm. This is, you know, this is scale three and Dark Worm is scale five. You can just scale both of those and pen summon out all your level four pieces. Uh, going first, this card summons summons itself for free. Now onto uh, these two, uh, Attack and Tomboard can can summon himself as long as you control any Wind Monster. Which means you don't actually have to draw Terror Top first. You can just draw Tech at Tomborg and then since a uh, Passing Glider is, is a wind monster and so is a Symphonic Warrior Mikes, you can actually just summon them if you hard draw Tech at Tomborg and, and already control Symphonic Warrior Mikes. Um, Terror Top is you know, Terror Top. If you, you have no monster, you use summon him for free, and and he and he can search any, any Speedroid card or any, yeah, any Speedroid monster from from deck to hand. Which means he can he can get you to, you know attack a tomborg as was the common play, but also in some scenarios you want you, he can you know you, you can get passing glider, you know for example if you have like a, a bunch of stuff in your hand and like yeah like yeah, 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 you have like a scale five or a scale seven in your hand, you can special 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 uh, terror top get passing glider and then put that in your scale to get to get to get to get your low scales out. Moving on now, now we have our. Three Supreme King Dragon Dark Room and our, and our one Supreme Supreme King Gate Zero. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a standard engine for a pendulum build. Gate Zero is just a, it's just a, a great zero scale. Pen, you know, Dark Room is awesome for, for getting monsters on board. It, it's a five scale. It, it surges Gate Zero. Um, since all your pieces are, are, are level four, oop, I, 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 I hit the mount. Whoopsies. Since all your pieces are all your pieces are, are, are level four, you, you sometimes can just get like Passing Glider and Dark Room out, and you scale scale three, scale five. You just scale both of those, and then you can just pen summon out all, all your pieces, and, it's, and, and it works super well. So, um, I chose to play three. I, I, I chose to play three Dark Worm because he's not honestly that horrible to draw. It's better. It's like in 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 a, in a pure pendulum build, he sucks to draw. In, in a pen ABC build, he's actually not bad because you can because he's, he's scale five. You can, you you can normal it. It's better than that. Next up, we have our three Symphonic Warrior guitar and our one Symphonic Warrior mics. Um, this is just an like I play with I, I play with my regular ABC deck. It's you know it it, it gives you the extra normal summon. Mike's is a level five machine. Guitar is a scale seven. Mike, you know it's it's very very like it's it's a very powerful engine. And in, and in a pendulum build, guitar being a scale seven, while well, at the same time being level three is absolutely unreal. This card being level five to overlay into infinity, it's so good. I I love the Symphonic Warriors. Oh, that's it for the uh, monster lineup. Next up, we have for our spells. We have three copies of Union Hanger. You know, I'm, I hope and I hope I don't, I don't have to explain explain why, 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 why we're maxing out on three Hanger with two Terraforming. Like, it's just the best card in your deck. 
uh, seeing this card makes all your plays super free. Like, you know, once, once again, like, like, you, like, you can combo without Hanger, but it's just seeing Hanger in your opening hand makes all your combos really, really free. Next up, we have three Dragon Shrine and one Foolish Burial. This is all just to all just get Dark Room to the Graveyard. Foolish Burial also, also comes up sometimes if you, if you just need to get one more piece into your graveyard. But for the most part, you're, you're, you're playing, you know, for, you know, for the most, most part, you're playing four cards that dump just a dark room from from deck to graveyard, which, which is really all you all you, all you need it for. You get you know, dark room and graveyard, and then and then you know get a get a free summon off of it, search deep zero, etc. That's pretty self 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 explanatory. And next up, we have three call by the grave because you want to get you want to make sure that your combos get there. Seeing call by the grave in your, you know, in your opening hand is just. We want it. This, this goes card insane. Just need to get hand trapped. So as you, just, you see, like, like you see this card in your hand, it's like boom. You're guaranteed you just do full combo because you know the odds of them having like like like, like multiple hand traps are lower than normal. So you know you just only only over, one call by the grave. You're set. Also, you know, like so also sometimes you can also some in some versions some matchup you can you can just set that card and then, and then activate later as kind of a negation effect. Like like versus striker, you you, you can negate ray. And then our the last card in the deck is one copy of Upstart Goblin. <laughs> Just you know, forty card deck with with, with the Upstart Goblin. Uh, there's really nothing nothing else I want nothing else I want I want to play in the deck. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll just maximize since I'll, I'll just maximize since, uh, consistency and play and play the Upstart Goblin because um you know it's, 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 it's Upstart Goblin. It just turns it just turns the deck from forty to thirty nine cards. That's it for the entire main deck. Next we'll go off into the extra deck. So we have three copies of ABC Dragon Buster. This card's yeah. Once again, like I, 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 I don't think I had to explain why we're playing three ABC. And then uh, your Nova and your Infinity. Here, I'll scoot this over a little bit. Uh, this is obviously one 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 your one, one your negations on your ending board. So it's just it's just also just a really really powerful card. Next up, you have you have a Nightmare Griffin. As our link, as a, as one of our link fours with Boral Sword Dragon, Night, Nightmare Griffin is kind of a you know it's kind of a pseudo a pseudo skill drain card. So, so it, it's great on your end, ending board. Boral Sword Dragon is just OTK machine. Next up, we have a Summon Sorceress. This card's using basically in most of your combos. It's absolutely insane. Um, as long as she's legal, I'll I'll, I'll be playing her, and, and you should too. This card's ridiculous for combo for combos. Next up, we have Triple Burst Dragon. Uh, not a card you, you see very often, but it has an effect that says negate, and it negates. It only it only negates in damage step, but the, but, the, but the reality is there's a lot of things that activate in damage step, like for example, Hayate's uh, Hayate's effect to mill a card, uh, Boral Sword Dragon's effect to steal, any card effect that says when this card is destroyed by battle, any card effect that says when this card does damage, any card effect that triggers when it leaves the field, and it, and, and you destroy it in battle. So you know it's. It's a pretty vers versatile effect, and also on your next turn, you, you, you contribute it to to revive a link to or lower, and also summon a dragon monster out of your hand. And you can and in, in, in this deck, uh, in, in this deck, you can guarantee that you end your that you end your first turn with a with, with a dark room in hand. So it's pretty good. Um, Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Cerberus, just general like utility cards, also part of your combo. Um, the, the, these, these nightmares are, are, are pretty useful. I, I, don't, I, I couldn't find room for, for for mermaid or unicorn. Otherwise, I may I maybe would would, would would have played them. But I wanted to just make sure I, I had room for all the primary com combo pieces in there, and then and then fit in as much as much utility as possible. Next up, we have Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. You've seen that. You guys have seen that. Have seen th uh, this card before. It's absolutely insane with, with Galaxy Order combos. This card is not used in, in your primary combo, but. Once again, like if you're if you're playing Galaxy Soldier in an ABC deck, you're playing Soul Flare Dragon. This card's ridiculous to with Galaxy Soldier. Clifford Genius, this card's a staple in ABC decks. Um, obviously, you have to play him. Uh, one copy of of of, of, of Electromite wouldn't be a Pendulum deck if you weren't playing Electromite in the Astro deck. This card's, card's absolutely broken. You just like like this card like people. Like if you think about it, this card basically just says summon a pendulum monster out of your deck, because it you know on summon it puts the pendulum monster into your extra deck, and then you know basically you can just pen summon out that pen summon out of that card, and whoop de doo you basically just say, basically just says put any you know 
put any card in your or put he says you just take any pendulum monster in your main deck and either summon it or put it in your scales pretty good also uh, uh, it also just also 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 draws one pretty, pretty, pretty solid and lastly we have a reproductus this is this, this card is also important in combos because you need because you uh, link off with a uh, with B like you like you link off with this a lot and then want to try and get into summon sorcerers so it's useful to them to be able to link up with like with like like electrum at a piece into into uh, reproductus make it, you know you know make your other piece of dinosaur then link off into summon sorcerers so that's it for the extra deck I'll go I'll go in, into my side deck and talk about what I think is a good side deck but obviously side deck is are always up to in interpretation and it's also you know, you know varies based on you, you, know, you know like what kind of decks are actually or actually lo logos etc so for the side deck uh if you didn't notice i'm not, i'm not mating any hand traps in the main deck uh that's because that's because i was just trying to just have have the combo be as, as consistent as possible so our side deck is a uh, three ash blossom and joyous spring because you guys just got you got be, be siding your hand traps three Twin Twisters, this is the best back row hate card in the game right now. I think I, I think it is for a while. Three Eggsy's Encore, cause um, I don't want to lose to Rongo for free. Three Infinite Permanence, cause it's the second best hand, tra hand trap in the, in, in the game right now. And of course, the ultimate ghost second card, three evenly matched. Um, you know, I don't, like obviously, obviously my, my, my side isn't gonna do you perfectly. At every tournament, you know, if your local, if your, if your, if your locals doesn't have any, 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 any Rongo, obviously don't, don't play Encore, etc. So, it, it's one of those like side decks are always are always very much up to personal preference and very much up to up to interpretation. But um, that's basically the entire deck deck uh you know main extra inside. Um, the co I should have a, I should have the, the, the combo video going up Wednesday. I, I should have to, I should have to get some more stuff for that. Oop. But hopefully, 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, if you guys, if you guys like this video, just, uh, please subscribe down below and, and hit like. It, it really helps me out. Uh, if you remembered, like I said, at the start, at the, at the start of the video, if you guys like and like the mat or or the, or the sleeves I, I used in this video, you you can buy them at ImperiumDuels.com and get ten percent off your order by using code GoldClass10. Anyway, I'd like, I'd like to th thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.